I actually, on the internet, pulled down his paper, uh, Einstein's paper. It's only four pages long and actually very readable. That's what's so surprising. It isn't, you don't need to be a physics professor to read it. He made it very simple, so it's easy to read. The E equals energy, the M is mass, the C is the speed of light, squared. And basically, if you distill it down, it means that energy and mass are the same thing. 1905 was a banner year for Albert Einstein. It was the year he published his first paper on relativity, which included the equation that would revolutionize the world. In his original draft, he wrote it out differently, but he soon restructured it to its simpler, more elegant form, which has now become part of our cultural vocabulary and our understanding of the world. If you looked at two watches that were wind-up watches, one working and one not working, if they had the exact same parts, same springs, same face, same hands, you'd think they'd weigh exactly the same amount. But the truth is the one that's working actually weighs a little bit more than the one that's not working. So in that watch, the one that's moving has more mass because it has kinetic energy, which is the movement going on, the potential energy, that spring that's ready to unspring, and it also has thermal energy, which is heat, the friction by all the pieces moving together. When you add up these various forms of energy, then divide it by the speed of light squared, you get the amount of extra mass the working watch has that the stopped watch doesn't. But keep in mind, when you're looking at this conversion, when you, when you divide by the speed of light squared, it's a very, very small number. So this is not the kind of weight difference you'd find on your bathroom scale. This is a very slight difference, but there is a difference, and that's what this is all about. We see the equation at work in everyday objects, from flashlight batteries to satellite GPS technology, and the theory's practical applications continue to expand. With E equals mc squared, Einstein showed that energy converting to mass, or vice versa, is just a redistribution of existing properties. Nothing is ever lost, or ever has been. The Big Bang that turned our universe into our universe got this huge explosion of energy, and that created all the particles that exist. So energy then converted into mass in the way that we recognize planets and the sun and the solar system and whatnot. So energy can go both ways. Energy can go into mass and mass can go back into energy. But the process of reverting mass to energy can have literally explosive consequences. All mass has the potential of energy inside it. So for example, one gram of water equals 20,000 tons of exploding TNT. So if you change water to plutonium or something else, now you can see how you could run a city with a nuclear power plant or destroy a city with an atom bomb. It's that same potential.